What's up, Switch Gang Nation? It's your boy Marlon back at it again with another massive Nintendo E3 rumor for you guys and girls today. And this is regarding, oh my god, Nintendo's entire E3 apparently is leaked out so let's go over the first thing here that's non e3 is nintendo's releasing details about their online service on may 7th service goes live on september 24th so hopefully this is all true here because we remember that nintendo said that they were going to you know put out information regarding their online sometime in may also service offers dedicated voice chat through an existing chat service discord being the most popular choice, exclusive eShop discounts, and a game with gold PlayStation Plus-like service with retro games are given to people every month and are allowed to keep the games as long as they have the service. So we heard rumors about this before, and hopefully all of this is true because, I mean, if they have the same PlayStation Plus-like service, that's actually great. Also, Nintendo is ditching the virtual console brand and replacing it with Nintendo's classic games offered through there are much cheaper than they were before and is going to launch with the Nintendo, uh, I'm sorry, with the NES and GBA games in August with Super Nintendo and 64 games being made available late 2018 to early 2019. Also, we have Nintendo's E3 presentation is currently 36 minutes long and focused only on Switch titles with Treehouse being used to announce and show 3DS titles. So we know Nintendo said that they're going to extend the life cycle of the 3DS all the way up until 2019. So here we go, 36 minutes long. I actually thought it was gonna be longer than that, but trust me, they can show off a lot of stuff in 36 minutes. Let's move along real quickly here. We have the first reveal is Spyro the Dragon uh, Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. There's also reasons they have uh, been waiting to reveal it. Okay, let's move on here. So we have uh, Fire Emblem is the next and the title for it is Luke Lucrus Daybreak coming holiday this year. We have Yoshi is the next new subtitle flipped around and the features the same amiibo functionality as Wooly World released in August. So apparently the next Yoshi game is coming out in August. I hope hopefully all of this is true. We have the new Paper Mario game is next and is being developed by Intelligent Systems goes back to the traditional partner style gameplay but it still heavily features the character limitations imposed for uh, Sticker Star and Color Splash coming in 2019. We also have a host of Mario Odyssey DLC here. Uh, Mario Odyssey is the next uh, presentation that they're going to show the next game here. And they're saying that Luigi is being released that day as a playable character and adds 70 unique moons to the game. Wario and Waluigi are also being made playable characters? What? Nah, this can't be for real. This cannot be for real, guys. No, it's no way. It, this would be too much like right. If these characters are playable, Warrior and Waluigi, that would just be amazing. With 70 moons each as well, no tentative release date on the other two characters, but they are being playable at the show floor. So you'll be able to play as Warrior and Waluigi. Oh my God, that is awesome. The next uh, game is Activision makes some announcements. Crash Bandicoot Amiibo is being made that adds harder time trials to Insane Trilogy and is teased to have some kind of functionality with Spiral Trilogy. We also have Black Ops 4. Now we've been hearing rumors about Black Ops 4 coming to the Nintendo Switch. Well, here we go again. Black Ops 4 uh, Battle Royale is coming to Switch with crossplay with PC, Xbox, and regular uh, Black Ops 4 is not coming to the, the Nintendo Switch. So we heard that they're stripping the single player and they're stripping the multiplayer mode and it's just going to be the Battle Royale mode and that's it. Also, we have here Sega reveals their Sega Ages for the West and two of the games they are releasing on their, it are four 
new Sonic Adventure game. So, uh, I'm sorry. Super Sonic Racing is revealed and takes inspiration from Sonic R with some characters like Sonic running on their own while characters like Tails use vehicles. Some kind of Nintendo exclusive content is teased for the game as well. Wow, that is amazing there. Next we have Metroid Prime 4 gameplay trailer coming 2019. Obviously, we know Metroid is not coming out this year, so that's huge there. We also have Pokemon for Switch is revealed. It's a new take on red and blue and features graphics that are midway between Sun and Moon and Pokemon. Okay, so I can see that graphics looking okay. Uh, we also have Five Nights at Freddy's is coming to Switch through reports um, are coming in that content may have been censored on Scott Colton's end and enforced by Nintendo coming out in the fall. So we're getting Five Nights at Freddy's on Switch. Wow, that's 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 awesome. If that's true, that is awesome. Two trailers for Smash Brothers for Switch are the last things. One reveals Captain Toad, the other reveals Crash Bandicoot and Spyro? Nah, this can't be for real. This cannot be for real. Because I just said the other day that I wanted those two characters to be in the game. But anyway, this is why they have been quiet about the Super, the Super Smash Bros. for the Switch version of the trilogy. Gameplay is shown and is a mix of Smash 4 and Melee. Uh, being very colorful yet detailed coming out September alongside with the online service so we heard so many rumors about that ice climbers are set to uh, reveal during the treehouse live so we heard uh, Marcus Sellers and another person that talked about the ice climbers being in the game a story mode co-op so let's hope that all of that is true as well uh, the last part of it here we have that's all uh, the details that we have for right now please check back on may 7th so this is a plethora this is a juggernaut uh information here regarding nintendo's e3 presentation so leave your thoughts down below some of it sounds really convincing and some of it sounds really fake like warrior and waluigi playable i mean it's possible who knows black ops we heard rumors about that metroid pokemon uh, five nights at Freddy's I mean it could all happen so subscribe if you're brand new to the channel turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here and peace switch gang nation oh my god I can't wait for e3 we out of here